Uh, thank you very much, Mr. Chairman. First, uh, uh, allow me to make sure that uh, we are on the same track here. You indicated there would be 11 opportunities uh, here today uh, to show bipartisan support. Uh, my number is seven. Um, and so I want to make sure that um, this committee uh, does not uh, believe somehow that you and I both agree on all 11 of these bills. Having said that, this is, a, this is an interesting bill. Uh, I think it is not necessary. I think it is bureaucratic. I think it is going to cost the Bureau more money and more time. However, I am going to support this bill uh, because we take every opportunity on this side of the aisle to try and give support, even if it is going to cost a little bit more money, uh, a little bit more effort. Uh, we feel that uh, we would like to demonstrate uh, our uh, cooperation and our willingness, even when we are not quite so sure that uh, the bill um, you know, is necessary. Uh, we, we bend over backwards uh, in effort to, to show bipartisan support. The views of small businesses are already well accounted for by the CFPB. The CFPB is the only financial regulator whose rulemakings are subject to review under the Small Business Regulatory Enforcement Fairness Act or SUBRIFA uh, panels. Um, these panels require that the Bureau identify and access the impact, assess the impact of its rulemaking on small businesses before a notice of proposed rulemaking is made. Small businesses are also afforded the same opportunities as the general public to submit comments in response to proposed rulemakings, an arrangement that gives small businesses two bites at the apple with respect to CFPB rulemaking. Small businesses are already represented on the Consumer Advisory Board. In addition to the uh, Sabria uh, review, a small business like Payday lenders are already represented on the CFPB's Consumer Advisory Board. The Office of Financial Institutions and Business Liaison presents yet another opportunity for small businesses to engage the CFPB and ensure that their concerns are reflected in Bureau policy. In response to concerns expressed by industry that they lacked a single point of contact to coordinate engagement with the CFPB, the Bureau responded by creating an Office of Financial Institutions and Business Liaison to complement the Office of Ombudsman. Relative to other proposals to gut the CFPB, this is still a very modest proposal that does not undermine the Bureau's structure, autonomy, or its cooperation. The Bureau continues to do tremendously important work. And while there does not appear to be a compelling justification to add yet another Small Business Advisory Board on top of the ones that they already have, small business representation on existing advisory boards, uh, the Office of the Ombudsman and the Office of Financial Institutions and Business Liaison, this proposal pales in comparison to the more destructive proposals designed to undermine the CFPB that have been and will continue to be considered by this uh, committee. So uh, we join with you on this proposal, uh, despite the fact, you know, we think that it is not absolutely necessary and it adds uh, cost. Uh, and more bureaucracy. But we are going to be with you on this one. So I would urge my colleagues to support it, and I yield back the balance of my time.